Hello and welcome to episode five of Day to Day, in which we take it to the streets. That's right, it's time. And we go to a conference, one of our favorites, called Merle Tech, which stands for Monitoring, Evaluation, Research, Learning, and Technology. Boom. Uh, and we ask folks what data means to them in their work. So without further ado, here is the episode. All right, folks, we're here at Merle Tech 2017. I'm here with Ryan. If you um, could explain to your grandmother why data is important to her, what would you say and why? Uh, wow, I would say that data underlies either what you believe, but also challenges what you don't. I would also say that uh, there is a need a willingness to be proved wrong, and so data uh, allows us to challenge our own assumptions about the world. Yeah, you need data to make decisions, and I think I'd say that to anybody. Data is truly the end result that ones and zeros flying through all the tubes of the internet, they land in a giant pile in an Amazon server floating in the clouds. And mom, that's what data is. And let me ask you this, what is the worst use of data you've ever seen? Probably uh, bad maps. A lot of times people take a small set of data from like say a focus group and then they say this is representative of an entire population. Um, which is uh, you know, not true and it's very misleading. What is one of the worst examples of data use you have seen in your work? My personal bane of my existence is seeing organizations collect a lot of data and not use it. I'm not gonna name and shame because I think we've all been there or there right now. But don't make it life harder on yourselves. Don't collect data unless you have a question for how am I going to use this data for decision making. If you had any superpower in the world related to data, what would it be and why? Make qualitative data quantitative. <clears throat> um, to crunch data like Hadoop in my head. Well, data actually, I don't know if this is a superpower, or it's just like a thing that data lets you do. It's to see into the future. Um, I think that that's the biggest impact that data can have. What is your data superpower? So along those lines, I don't know if you've seen um, The Incredibles, but I'd be the mother in The Incredibles who can like stretch and link to anything. So for data, I would want to link, you know, how does data link to the outcomes we want, to the results we want? How is, you know, making that stretch across to our different, the things we say up at high level and then the data we're actually collecting. If you could have access to any piece of data in the world for your work, what would you ask for? For my work. Uh, for your work, yes. I would actually like access to the data, so for it to actually be organized and reported, rather than collecting data and it being like all over the place and not usable. It's, I don't even care what type it is, I just want it to be usable and accessible. I think I would like to know how many data points people collect that are not used ever, compared to how many that are used. And if you had to take a guess, what would you, what do you think that would be? I would say 95% are unused. <laughs> just generally speaking, like more broadly, um, I would just say I would love to be able to get more quantifiable data on how people are learning and engaging with online content. Oh, that is a good question. I'd like to know the cost per beneficiaries of, across our entire organization. Courtney, if you could have one piece of data or one data set, what would it be and why? So future jobs. Again, I think data is powerful. I've been a career professional in global development, and I really think that the way you achieve global development is give everyone jobs, um, actually help them find jobs. And in order to, to do that, you really need to be on top of where trends are so that people aren't just doing work, but actually shaping their own futures and their own livelihoods and their own families' um, futures. If you had to describe data in one word, what word would you use? Truth. Proud. That's cool. 
That's easy. Data is necessary. Chaos. That's until we figure out how to make sense of it. Oh. Data is opportunity. Data means to me a large collection of stuff, whether numerical or qualitative, that you can then provide, apply different lenses to, to analyze, and to yield information and knowledge. What does data mean to you? What is data? So, um, my word is data is dangerous without context. Data is empowering. What is data to you? Data is a mess. So data for me is just info, it's just information, and I think remembering that that's what it is um, is important because I think we need to think about why do we want that information, and that's the key question about data. Data is hard work. How would you define data? Where? Right now, data to me is dangerous. Ooh, and why do you say that? Why is data dangerous to you? Well, uh, as an American, I learned this morning that my data was exposed in the Experian hack that happened, that they happened in July that they're just telling us about now. So I get to go for the next two or three years looking over my shoulder, wondering who has stolen my data and what they are doing with it. So I think data is actually really awesome. I know it sounds really dorky, but it's the coolest thing in the world, let's be honest. Okay, well that's it for now. Thanks to all of you who took your time at Merle Tech to share your insights with us. Please go ahead and subscribe below and... If you tell us what data means to you in one or two words in the comments section, you could be eligible to win a free seat in our upcoming class, Technology for Data Visualization. That's right. So we'll see you next time.